I saw you at the funeral. No, sorry, I mean, I saw you had a funeral. Y yeah, you're wearing all black, and it looks really good on you. <laughs> you look like you could be a necromancer. Like me. I'm... A necromancer is what I'm trying to say. And you've suffered a loss, yes? Who was it that passed? What did they mean to you? I'm sorry. It's never easy. It's never the same. Do you want a hug? Right, right. I don't know you well enough for that, of course. Were the two of you close? Ah. Uh, uh, sorry, I missed what you said. I was staring at your lips. You can't afford a necromancer. Hmm, right. Um, I work for free. No, 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 please don't close the door. I know, I know, you're smart. So you know there's a catch. Of course there's a catch. Nothing good comes for free, right? Please. I'm very shy. It's hard for me to approach people, to knock on their door. I know you're having a hard day, having had a funeral, uh, but I just had to talk to you. Once I saw you, I just... Oh, what's the catch? Um, I'm not a very good necromancer. I can't raise the dead, but I can talk with them. Maybe I could check if your loved one has a message for you. From beyond the grave. It's no joke, please. I'm very harmless. I'm just a girl. Just a small, weak, necromancer girl. Trying to do a good deed for a beautiful stranger. I see you're hesitant. That's good. It's admirable when people are skeptical. Questioning. I like the way your eyebrows move when you're doubtful. Has anyone ever told you that they're very elegant? Let me reassure you. Sometimes the messages I pass on from the dead are important. Oh, it can be things like the location of hidden money, important documents. Ah, uh, sometimes it's... Well, they want to mention they had an affair or something. Those are hard to pass on. Oh, you're opening the door. Thank you. I'll get everything set up for the ritual. Oh, why don't you relax for a moment? Maybe you want to brew some of that tea you like. Lemon and honey? Ah, uh, everyone around here drinks that. <laughs> Lucky guess. Hey, I'm ready for you in the living room. Uh, the ritual is ready, I mean. Uh, don't panic. Don't panic. Necromancy always looks scary, especially when I have my tools of the trade out. Mm, 
Why do I need knives and ropes? Good question. These are magic items to help me commune with the departed. Yeah. Don't worry about the knife. Don't worry about anything. I need you to have a seat on that big chair. Close your eyes and think about your loved one. What am I doing? I need to tie this rope around your wrists. To deepen the connection. Well, all magic is a little strange. Don't you want to say goodbye? Necromancers are so rare, you probably don't want to miss this chance. Good. Thanks for cooperating. <laughs> You're very good. Just like I knew you'd be. Now concentrate. Let your mind wander past the realm of the living. Keep your feet flat on the floor. Feel that connection to the earth. Uh, yes. Sorry. This is the next step. I have to crawl into your lap. It's strange, right? But maybe not as strange as having your wrists bound? Here, I'll just slip under your arms. Ah, thank you. You smell so good. Mm, I'm going to contact your deceased loved one soon. I just need to rest my head on you here. It's unconventional. Oh, there go your eyebrows. Uh, yes, but necromancers are often romanticized for this reason. We're cuddly. Will you please close your eyes? I like looking at them. They're very pretty. But it's distracting. Oh, and your eyelashes are beautiful, too. I'm jealous of you. Uh, I'm going to speak to your departed now. Take a deep breath in, and a long, slow breath out. Don't think about how your hands are tied. Mmm, the spirits. I feel it. I'm speaking with your loved one. Mmm. They love you, of course, but they also say you're easy to love. Your nature, your personhood, they inspire good feelings from others, because you're very kind. Yeah, they say you have too many good qualities to list, but they really appreciate how thoughtful you are. Yeah? You want to know what else? Uh, they say you should think about getting a girlfriend. They want to see you happy with someone. Oh. Oh, oh, I don't know. What else are they saying? Oh, it's so embarrassing. They say you should kiss me. Just to practice. Hey, stop squirming! Uh, don't make me... <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't want to pull a knife on you. I'm not a liar. I'm a grifter. There's a difference. Okay, but you're the chump who got tied up by the aforementioned deranged stalker. 
So maybe you don't have to call me names. Well, what was I supposed to do? Walk up to you and tell you that you're a vision that's haunted my dreams and I want to marry you and kiss you all the time? But that's so scary. Uh, this is easier. I have the knife, and I get to cuddle you. No! I won't let you go. First, give me a kiss. Then maybe, if it's a good kiss, I'll think about untying your hands. Yeah, so kiss me like your freedom depends on it. Mm. Mm. Oh. oh, no, no, no. I can't let you go now. Besides, I can tell you liked it. You're so naughty. Making out with the person who tied you up. Uh, oh, I am sorry I tricked you. But you're so perfect for me. I had to do something. Oh. You accept my apology. Wow. You really are a kind person. If you forgive me, can I be your girlfriend then? Please? We can go on a date. Let's have a date in your bedroom. When? Right now. You want a cafe date? I can do that. I guess... Oh, I guess it's smarter to date you than to keep you tied up. Mm, Alright. You're so sweet, I know you won't trick me. And I know we're going to have a wonderful time together. Yeah, you'll be begging me for another date. I'll work hard to win your heart, and be your girlfriend. So get ready, but for now, we're going to cuddle a bit longer. I know you won't mind. <laughs>